All right, so what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Cody with O Cody, and in today's video, I wanna discuss something that I know a lot of people hate. And I know that a lot of people, you know, wish it was, you know, erased from history and every single game, you know, from now on never had it. It's a horrible thing. It's this and that. It's the spawn of Satan. It, you know, whatever the case may be, whatever you want to call it, I have, I just feel like I have a different approach and a different view on it. And that's just something that I want to, to get out there and I want to to talk about and why this this whole in video right here is why i think skill based matchmaking is a good thing for online pvp video games now a lot of people a lot of people will sit here and they will whine and whine and whine that <clears throat> excuse me that that it ruins you know their playing ability or it, you know it ruins the game and I just think that's a lot of bull because it only ruins the game for you because you can't, you seem to can't handle people of your own skill. The the people that I feel like complain about skill-based matchmaking and that truly hate skill-based matchmaking in video games like Call of Duty, Fortnite, uh, Apex Legends, um, Battlefield, I'm trying to think of all the hot multiplayer games that are out right now. Um, you know, when people talk about that, you know, they, they want to be able to go into lobbies and basically pick on noobs. And now, I am not defending noobs at all. And I don't mean to sound like that I am defending noobs, but I promise you I'm not trying to defend noobs. Because even I like pub stopping on noobs. But every so often, you know, I do enjoy to have a challenge of some sort. And... You know, that usually involves me fighting people, or me fighting against people of my own skill or higher skill. Because, you know, how are you supposed to get better? You know, it, it feels good. It feels good to be able to, you know, walk all over some noobs and, you know, have like a really high score with a, you know, a lot of kills, little deaths, and maybe a win. Or maybe not, maybe just a high kill game. You know, if it, it feels good to pub stomps and noobs you know i will agree with the people that disagree with it you know with that but it it makes me feel better whenever i can do the same thing in a higher grade lobby to say and you know the most of the people that complain about it are like streamers and you know of all platforms just content creators in general which i get it you know i to be as impartial as I can here, you know, I, I do understand that it involves making content, you know, that, that's the whole point of their channel, their stream, their Facebook page, um, you know, what their Instagram, you know, to make content, you know, they have to make content and, you know, nobody wants to watch a shitty game or shitty gameplay, you know, nobody wants to watch some guy spawn and die, spawn and die, spawn and die over and over again. I completely understand that but what I'm saying is is that the, you can't you have to be able to pick on noobs to be able to tell yourself that you're good and that's just something that I don't agree with and uh, you know I'm, I'm trying to be as impartial like I said as impartial as I can here but I just feel like it's not fair to the casual player who plays maybe under two hours a day if every single day who doesn't really take it seriously you know who wants to relax and play call of duty who wants to relax and play fortnite who wants to relax and play apex legends halo i i, I don't know what other games are out there with skill-based matchmaking in it uh, but you know it's not fair to them because how are they supposed to get better or even want to play the game if they're constantly getting shat on round after round after round after game after game you know it's not fair to them and people will say like like i said oh well you're just protecting noobs you know you're trying to attend to the casual player yes i am trying to attend to the casual player because it's like a baby and an adult we all were a baby before we were an adult everybody that games right now professionally plays eight hours a day five hours a day every single day you know profession like i said streamers Deller, Tifu, Ninja, uh, I don't know, I don't really, 
care for streamers all that much. I do watch a few of them, but I'm not like big on it. You know, everybody was a casual player at one point. Every single person was. And then, you know, now you were obviously not, but you got to think you were at one point and you started playing because you wanted to get better. You started playing more because you wanted to get better. You started trying different things because you wanted to get better. You started to do this because you want to get better. You started to do that because you wanted to get better. And, how, you know, how were they supposed to be able to do that if they're constantly getting shit on? Because, you know, if I play a game like Destiny 2 that's free to play right now, you know, everybody's so far into it and everybody's so high level and everybody's got all this high grade bullshit. I don't like Destiny uh, at all. You know, everybody's got this high grade bullshit and then I come in there and I try to play and I can't get a kill to save my own ass. So I just stopped playing the game in general. Then that game was as a player and then I was interested in the whole franchise. Which I didn't like the gameplay to begin with. But you know that that just that's my own personal thing. But still, you know, it just adds to the extra little bit of I didn't have a chance in that game because there wasn't skill based matchmaking so I just gave up on the game at all period whatsoever and you know that's something that I just I, I don't agree with that you know people are complaining about people are saying you know like I said at the beginning of this video and you know it needs to be taken away it needs this it needs that it needs that and, you know bottom line I know I know bottom line you cannot please everybody I, I know, you know, that's just a fact of life. That's just something that's going to happen. But I'm just saying basically to the ones, and, and I'm going to make this video short, and I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up with this one comment. Um, you could take this as a disrespectful way if you want. If you don't, I don't care. But the only reason why you don't want skill-based matchmaking in video games that you play is because you can't be good without it. Because you can't handle lobbies of your own skill or higher. And you don't like a challenge. I just think, bottom line is, I just think people that complain about it and want to go in are cowards. But anyway guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you follow me on Facebook. Because like I said in my, in my last video, I am getting really close to a thousand sub subscribers, I wish. One, a thousand followers likes whatever on facebook and you know that is something that i've been really wanting you know for a long time that you know i've really put a lot of work into this facebook page so if you guys could go follow that that would be so much appreciated subscribe to the channel if you knew let me know what you think as long as it can be a healthy debate or an adult debate i should say in the comment section down below let me know what you think of skill-based matchmaking as unbiased as you can. Anyway, guys, my name is O. Cody, and I will see you.